Hi, Ruben here with a couple updates. You'll notice, first of all, that you can actually put your profile picture in here. That makes things look a little nicer. And then we've also got this mission generator and pipeline goals planner. You can get to them from your profile or you can also access them from this menu. So if I go to the mission and positioning link, I've got a little wizard here that lets me create some copy and some messaging for my elevator pitch, home page, about page, lead magnet page, call scripts, LinkedIn profile posts and connection requests and so on. And the idea is let's get really focused on our positioning and who we're helping. So you can see here, it's just got a bunch of kind of fill in the blanks. And if, so if I click on ideal client, who do I help? Well, maybe I help retired CEOs. And when I enter that, it's going to update the copy in here and give me some more information to fill out, right? Who have some important attribute. Hate golf, thought they were going to retire and play golf and would love to, um, again, their pain is this is all going to depend on your particular messaging and he, here we're going to put a little bio about ourselves we can suggest something you can see the grammar isn't exactly right but maybe it's something like And now when I go through here, it's going to have a little blurb for me to hone my elevator pitch. I can think about uh, a home page, an about me page, a lead magnet, call scripts, and maybe I don't like this exact content. Well, let me you know get some other ideas. can refresh generate a snippet I can copy this content if I want to take it somewhere else here's an example of a LinkedIn profile LinkedIn posts again maybe I want different posts the kind of things that's going to engage my ideal clients LinkedIn connection requests so the idea is let's make sure that we are really figuring out who we're serving the exact laser focus on our target so that we can appeal to them we can be the 800 pound gorilla within that tiny market doesn't mean we can't take work outside the market, but this way we have a great message so we can create a compelling lead magnet. We can reach out effectively. We can get referred and so on. So that's the mission messaging and positioning generator. Now let's take a look. Let's actually hit okay here. And let's look at the pipeline goals planner. The idea here is, We've got two main sources of, of business, word of mouth and online. And with the word of mouth, we're having certain conversations with partners. They could be past clients, other referral partners. What percentage of them lead to a referral? How many leads do we get? And out of those, how many leads actually turn into conversations? How many of them turn into proposals? And then what's our win rate on proposals? And what's our average deal size? Here we have a pipeline. Now we can do the same thing with the online stuff, right? Maybe we have say 12,000 visitors a year. We're going to convert, let's say 3% of them and the web lead to conversation percent. If we're using memory and lead magnets, it's going to be better than, than typical. So ordinarily it might be like five or 10%, but let's say we get to 50, but maybe not all of those are going to turn into proposals. There we go. And the idea here is we can kind of see based on our deal sizes and all the other parameters, do we have a realistic funnel and what areas might we want to work on? So for example, for a lot of people, just having more conversations with potential referral partners is going to be really good for a lot of people having a hundred conversations, which is only two a week, seems like it's crazy. So for example, let's just focus on that. Let's say we get no traffic. Right? We're going to have 100 conversations with partners. We're also going to have conversations with the actual prospects. That's why it's three per week in total. But if you're out there and you only do, say, 10 conversations with referral partners and you get five referral leads, well, that restricts your, your business considerably. Now, what happens if you do 200? Right? And again, maybe you don't actually end up with this many referrals. But the idea is you can control to some extent by having strong positioning that you 
use that mission generator to create and having lots of conversations with people, it's going to make you much more referable. If you never have the conversations, there's no reason for your network to refer you. If you, you're connected to maybe hundreds, maybe even thousands of people on LinkedIn, but if they don't know who your real ideal client is, if they don't have a personal connection with you, they're not going to be able to refer you. Same thing when we move online. Let's say you don't get a ton of traffic. You get 1,000 visitors a month, and most people are doing really kind of a bad job with conversion here, right? They get a handful of people calling them a year. But if you're doing a good job with lead magnets and you've got that compelling vision, compelling mission pitch that's going to be targeted right at those ideal clients, you can improve that considerably. And if you're using those lead magnets so you get the notifications when they're reading them, you have a better chance of actually having conversations. If you're targeting really well, you have a better chance of turning that conversation into a proposal and hopefully you're creating compelling proposals and you're winning them. Now, of course, your mileage may vary, right? Maybe you have fewer clients, but they're $100,000 a piece, right? And by definition, it's a much more selective thing. So the conversation to proposal rate might be really low, right? You might be very selective about who you take on based on what you need, not just on what they need. But anyway, this lets you play with the numbers and just get a sense of where should I be focused and am I actually making the number of calls, having the number of conversations that I need to have each week to be successful. <laughs>